in this tutorial we will learn next set of commands at first we will extrude one object select the plane we will create one center rectangle click middle mouse button give the dimension double click enter click on ok give the height ok now in this tutorial we will learn about round here is the round command then select the edge you want to round give the radius value and enter if you want to create a round with the same value then you have to press control button and select the multiple edges it will create the round with the same radius and if you want to create the round with different radius then you will have to click on the edge directly and here you can change the radius of the fillet and if you again want to maintain the same again press the control and select the edges it will create the round with same radius now here two sets are created one of 20 radius and one is of 10 radius by clicking on this you can watch here is the set 1 of 20 radius and here is set 2 of 10 radius if you want to cancel some edges you can select those edges right click on it and remove it that edge will be removed from the selection set and if you want to cancel the complete set right click on it and delete it the complete set will be cancelled click again on this set to cancel the set options from here you can watch the preview click again here to cancel the preview then from here you can switch to transition mode then select the transition here is the transition and from here you can define the options now here it is round only click here select intersect it will show like this intersection of three fillets then you can define the corner sphere change the radius enter you can change the length from here how much you want just double click and change the value and click on preview in this way you can define the transition portion from here also you can define the radius suppose we will make it 30 then click on ok we will just cancel this round ok then if you click on the arrow near the round there is one more option is auto round to take trials of this auto round we will create one more object here click on extrude select the surface create one more center rectangle ok and we will give the height ok then click here and select auto round using auto round you can apply round to all the edges automatically you don't need to select the edges from here you can define whether you want rounds for convex edges if you remove this stick it will not create for convex edges and by removing this stick you can avoid the concave edges i want round for both the edges from here you can define the radius suppose i want the radius to be 15 enter you can give the different radius for concave edges or you can keep the same and click on ok here it has created round to all the edges we will again right click and edit it edit definition if you don't want round for some edges then by clicking on this click inside this and select the edges for which you don't need a round and if you want to select multiple edges press ctrl and select the multiple edges and click on ok it will not create a round for those edges and edges connected to those edges it will create round to other remaining edges again right click edit definition suppose we will cancel this extrude edges right click on it and remove all or remove it then we suppose i don't want for this concave edges remove this stick and ok it has not created rounds here and it has created at the remaining 
positions we will remove this auto round delete it okay in a round tool you can also create a variable radius round click on round select the edge you want to round then to create a variable radius round press right mouse button and select make variable from here and here you can define the different radius on both the ends if you want to add some point in between click here on the set and by right clicking here you can add the radius then from here you can define the ratio suppose i want it at the center give here 0.5 then change the radius value i will make it 30 click on this set here is the variable radius is created click on ok the next option is chamfer click on chamfer edge chamfer then select the edge to which you want to create the chamfer and from here you can define the distance chamfer distance and from here you can control the type of chamfer now it is d into d that is same distance from this edge on both sides and if you want to give different distance for the chamfer click here and select d1 d2 and from here you can give different distance and if you want to interchange the distance click here it will interchange the distance then you can also define chamfer by angle and distance give you here the angle what you want it will create the chamfer with angle and distance and you can also create with the angle of 45 degree and given distance then set concept is same as we seen in the case of round and if you want to create same dimension chamfers then you will have to press the control button and select the edges it will create the chamfer with the same dimension and if you want to change the dimension then select the edge without holding the control button and from here you can give different dimension for the next set and by right clicking on any set you can remove the set if you require and from here you can change the dimension then ok it we will cancel this chamfer delete ok then you can create transition in chamfer also click on chamfer select the edges press the control button for multiple edges then click on switch to transition mode and select the transition first option is intersect it will be displayed like this in the case of intersect click here and select patch it will show a triangle here like this and click on ok in this way you can create transition chamfer we will again cancel this delete it ok delete this round also ok then click on the arrow near the chamfer here is corner chamfer you can create chamfer for the corner click on the corner then define the dimensions d2 d1 and d3 how much you want as for that this chamfer will be defined from here also by double clicking on this you can change the dimension in this way you can create the corner chamfer click on ok that's all thanks for watching we will stop here